A Day at the Zoo by Happy Ponyland, or HPL for short. Hey guys, Game Hunter here, and today we're looking at another game in the 7 Day Roguelike Challenge of 2013. AD. Of course it's AD. I've written a schoolboy's diary, welcome to 2013 AD. Um, oh, I'm already trying to. Okay, there we go. Uh, arrow keys. Arrow keys are what I need to work. Does uh, numpad, non numpad. So neither the numpad. So it's it's pretty much just only these buttons. I suppose any diagonals are in play. We don't even have a hijackable U-bin. We only have the ups and the downs and the lefts and the rights. We got cheetahs and pandas. The pandas are white and black because they represent how much animals can just eat and pig out. I guess and also how endangered they are and then there's cheetahs who aren't even moving at all they are moving even less than the pandas man talk about captivity just completely destroying a sense of any instinct whatsoever and the hyenas are supposed to be laughing so we get some uh, hyucks that's why they have H by the way it's not because they're hyenas it's because of the hyucks they make and uh, then we got gorillas these gorillas are just kind of Going with the ooh ooh ah ahs. And I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing in this game. So I guess we will just have fun at the zoo. Man, A for alligators? I don't know. I would think more like a. Yeah, I guess it's close enough. I, I think of arachnotrons or archons or angels or air elementals. I don't know, something. But, uh, you know, they're doing their swamp thing. And then we got the leopards, which are kind of cheetah-ish, I think. Man, I I don't really know what the main difference between leopards and cheetahs is. Because, I mean, I know that cheetahs are run really fast, and, um, and leopards are known for having leopard skin as a fashionable sense a long time before people decided that wearing animal skins wasn't quite as cool as they thought. And instead we wear our nice artificial prohibitive collections um, because yeah well I mean you know when you become such a ridiculously dominant species on the planet there's it's like why even bother <laughs> what's the point on on a personal level okay but you know just buying it is just whatever so there's the mancubus I mean the uh, where, where is you where is you dr. M the moose they have a moose in a cage Man, they're just putting all the animals in the zoo. And we got aardvarks, which are the letter V. And they are also known as anteaters. Huh. Yeah, I guess they were originally aardvarks, but then people decided, you know what, that's a terrible name. We should just call them by their utility. And so anteaters were born. Uh, so now we have snakes, and they go s snakes. And, and if you're a parcel mouth, then you can actually tell them to do things. But they're not actually intelligent. They just uh, kind of make it that way. Oh, and we have the famous Okapi animal that I totally know is an animal and is not just something that is something I've never heard of whatsoever. But it, you know, it's weird because maybe it's the, the font I'm using, but the C is kind of kind of closed looking. Almost like a flat tire C. Anyway, oh, we got the Imus. Emus, are they are they land birds? I forget. I want to say they're land birds, but I really don't know. And we got seals, man. <laughs> Saluting the Navy seals. You know, it's it's funny because seal is like a, is like the elite force of the Navy in, in the the America of the United States. Um, and uh, I guess they're they're really super special. So you know. As being a citizen of that very same country of the U.S. of A. Uh, oh, and wait. So, wait. Anteaters and aardvarks are different? Man. You need to get your facts straight, G.H., apparently. <laughs> apparently. <laughs> apparently. Hey, look, a zebra. Okay, so we got uh, zebras and pandas, which are black, white, stripies. Well, the pandas are spotted. And then we got the flamingos. Who cares about them? Everybody's spots them on the zoo, so they're just kind of the norm. Dingoes. Dingoes are kind of Australian. That's about it. Uh, we got monkeys. 
monkeys and gorillas and uh, oh, what are the name of those one things? Orangutangs. We've got quack quacks over there. I don't know why they're they're not using a Q. It's clearly what their name is. And the ostrich, which is another, uh, definitely a land bird, a really fast land bird. But maybe the emus are even faster. Vultures. It's a good thing those guys are not in cages. Well, are in cages. This is a very, very classic zoo because everything's in a, in a cage. Even though it's got you know land and stuff. You know, I've been to. I've been to zoos where they have a lot more open spaces for the animals. And I mean, the ones that are going to be able to wreck people, obviously, you don't keep those uh, out freely. But there's a lot of birds and stuff that have really wide open areas. Um, and can more or less just kind of roam freely, but they just stick to wherever they are. Hey, look at giraffes! There's quite a bit of giraffes. They have... Uh, they got long necks for the ability to grab leaves from trees. Moving on, we have the newt. Wow, the newt. Isn't that tiny? I'm surprised that takes up the same space as a, a gorilla and um, an ostrich. We've got pangolins. I'm supposed to know what a pangolin is because we've discussed it on, on the Roguelike IRC channel before, but... Uh, can't say I remember. I think it was some kind of... I think it was actually some kind of um, primate, but uh, I just don't... Please don't uh, take my word for it on that one. The gazelles... And yeah, so anyway, I th I'm pretty sure we've already discussed enough of this game. I'm just kind of doing that... Th this is the thing that I was mentioning in an earlier video where I kind of don't really talk about the gameplay and I just kind of speak on random... Tangents, although in this game, ironically, the tangent is literally everything, as far as I can tell. I mean, what, what's going on here? We're just... I just freed all the, the whatevers. Maybe this is a toilet bathroom. What's the D? Are you a dragon? Is that why you're hiding in this room? And are these orcs? Probably not. Oh, you know what? The D is probably a sink. And it happens to work because the sink is lined up with this side of the door. Um, but anyway, I mean, you know, this is, I don't even know if you could really call this a roguelike. <laughs> Certainly it's a, you know, it's, it's more in the category of just a, a um, man, I wouldn't even know what to call this. This is, no offense, but I'm not sure this qualifies as a game. It's really more of a, um, man. You know how there's like those things where you just kind of man, it's not even that. It's um. Anybody play those putt putt games? It's kind of like that, but without the puzzles. So and without an ending. So it's it's not quite a game. Um, but it's still cool. You know what? I mean, this is. This is cool. I like the the generation for it. And in fact, let's go ahead and uh, very quickly get another of the game out. So, the zoo thing. There we go. There we go. I always like to kind of make sure that I never have any incriminating evidence of me being a real person in those in those uh, windows. But anyway, let's just go ahead and see if we can't make another map of it. So, you know, it's it's cool because it's kind of tech demo -y. And I'm pretty sure this is, yeah, a completely different map. Yeah, because I don't remember lions being in the front and, and hippopotamuses. And this room being a room and absolutely nothing else. All of these rooms being rooms. So it's cool. And in, in some ways, the design of the generation isn't half bad. But uh, it's completely lacking game. Still, hey, it's okay. <laughs> if it had actual game, then I would be more enjoyed with it. So anyway... You know, this is one of those videos of me just kind of talking, so... I guess they're good to have interspersed with the lots and lots and lots of other, perhaps more so, games. But, I mean, like I said, as, as a procedural content generation tool, this is rather nice, so... They got one of the heavy aspects of the, of the roguelike, right? They just kind of forgot the, the part about making it a game, but... Whatever, it's cool. This has been Game Hunter quote-unquote playing a day at the zoo.
Join me next time when we take a look at another seven-day roguelike um, participant in the year of 2013. I don't really want to, to, to. I don't even know what the word is. I don't really want to poke fun at this. It's just, you know, it's it's lacking game qualities, and that's that's just really what it comes down to. So, yep, I think I've said my fill on this game. In any case, until next time, keep playing those roguelikes, guys, and take care.